Hey folks, it's Big Piney. If you click this video, then you're watching the Six String Report. We're going to go over what happened to the Six String Report, because we stopped there for a while. And then I'm going to tell you what to look for in an acoustic guitar when you're going out to buy one for the first time. Um, mainly the first time, because if you're going on your second guitar, then you've been doing your homework and stuff, and you know what to look for. So um, let's just get right to it. We took a little break for a while because there's been uh, some health issues. I'm not going to go over which one of us or uh, anything like that, but that was a slowdown. That was, you know, backed us up a little bit. And then I had camera problems, which uh, I got a new camera here. Looking pretty good, yeah. But anyway, <clears throat> so that slowed us down, but we're back. We're back, and uh, we're in better quality now. Well, I am anyway. But <laughs> And there's no more webcam max thing on the top. That really bothered me. I was getting ready to uh, start off the video and says, Hey folks, welcome to the 600 Report brought to you by Webcam Max. But, uh, no. Let's get serious here. So we had a little slowdown. And, um, now we're back. Well, I'm back for now, anyway. So let's dive right in here, though. What to look for when you're buying your first acoustic guitar. Well, if you got into that point, then you're pretty excited about learning the new instrument. Um, the guitar is a great instrument. It's the ultimate uh, songwriting tool, besides pen and paper. But um, So let's dive right in. There's really four rules of thumb that I follow. Um, <clears throat> which number one to me is the biggest it might not be to you but um, for me the first rule of thumb <clears throat> the biggest one is solid spruce top just like this one has here um, the second rule of thumb is how does it play you know how does it feel you know the action does it have high action low action you want to look for low action <clears throat> really the lowest without getting fret buzz and what fret buzz is is uh, that's fret buzz. You don't want none of that. You want a clean. Yeah, you don't want that. You want nice clean notes. <clears throat> and um, the third rule of thumb is how does the neck feel in your hand? Because acoustic guitar's neck size is range, you know. I mean, you might have small hands, so generally you're going to want a smaller neck. Or you might have bigger hands, and you generally might want a um, bigger neck, fatter neck. And um, for me, I'm kind of opposite. i got huge hands, but I prefer a nice, thin, slim neck, you know. You know, so it's nice and easy to play like that, even down here. <clears throat> And the fourth rule of thumb is, how well does it stay in tune? Um, you don't want a guitar that's falling out of tune every five minutes or every hour or whatever. Um, these, th this guitar is over 30 years old. Um, these tuners are original. And I haven't tuned this thing in two weeks. Almost two weeks. In three days it'll be two weeks I haven't tuned this guitar. <laughs> It's a little out of tune, but uh, not anything uh, dramatic. So yeah, you just want to look for that solid spruce top. <clears throat> the action on it, check for buzzing and stuff like that. Make sure it's nice and easy to play. Um, check to make sure the neck is comfortable in your hand, you know. And uh, how well does it stay in tune? And the best way to do this is to go as many places you can and pick out all the acoustic guitars in your price range. Doesn't matter body size, nothing like that. <clears throat> It could be a, it could be an orchestra model style guitar, you know. It could be a jumbo, just all of them. Um, dreadnought, like this is standard. When you think of a guitar, this, this is what you think of, you know, dreadnought. Um, and just play them all, you know. And um, you might walk in there, pick up the first guitar in your price range, strum that chord. I always start off with a G chord. I don't know why. 
strum that chord and you might be like, man, where have you been all my life? And you might go home with that guitar. Or you might go from place to place to place and then back again, trying all the ones to get the perfect one. And sometimes it's like that, you know. <clears throat> I mean, you can go out and get a Martin D28 in one shop and get another Martin D28 in the other shop all made, you know, the same year and everything. And one might sound like a dud, and the other one might sound like heaven. You know, it's it all depends. Because um, wood is like snowflakes. There's not two pieces that are alike. Um, in a certain grain pattern, might vibrate just a little bit more than that other D28, or whatever guitar you're looking at. And um, another thing I want to say is don't go by looks. If you have two, say your your price is, uh, your budget is five hundred dollars. You have two five hundred dollar guitars sitting right there. One has nice abalone on it, and the other one, eh, eh, black binding, mm, no binding on the neck. <clears throat> I would go for the one that has the best sound. Um, and if you stick with those four rules of thumb, you will uh, guarantee that you go home with the guitar that fits your needs and the guitar that you love and the guitar that you won't be able to put down like this one. Put mine here. This is a um, 1977 Alvarez 5025 Dreadnought. Her name's Chrissy. Yes, I name my guitars. It's a um, cherry sunburst there. Kind of like a, a hummingbird or something like that. And um, the thing I like about the guitars from the 70s is that they put these adjustable bridges on them. That is so helpful. I can't tell you how many times from changing climates and stuff like that that just a couple of turns of the screw fixed everything. You know, I only did a tr uh, truss rod adjustment once on this. But, um, yep, 1977 Alvarez in mint condition. I picked this thing up in mint condition. There you can see the original uh, Made in Japan sticker on the back. It has a couple nicks on the headstock there. That's for me, to be honest with you. When I got this guitar, it was in beautiful shape. All the nicks you see on it are from, are from me. Um, it's got a solid spruce top. Um, it's got a laminated mahogany, mahogany. <laughs> mahogany. mahogany back and sides. It's got a uh, Mahogany neck, one piece mahogany neck, with a dovetail neck joint here, which is the best neck joint you can get. I mean, uh, a lot of people say, you know, the Taylor bolt ons are nice, but when it comes down to it, the uh, dovetail is the best. Nothing against Taylors, I love Taylors. I love Taylors. Um, this is my baby, this is my go to guitar. This thing is light compared to my Guild. I'm not going to bust out my Guild right now, but I have a uh, mid to late 90s Guild DV4 I believe the model is I picked that up for a good price too I was down in Virginia but we'll get into that later but um, that thing is a freaking tank compared to this but this has that nice airy woody tone So yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm actually I'm going to do a review on this guitar and all my acoustics and uh, eventually my Stratocaster, stuff like that. So, uh, man, we're going on 10 minutes. So yeah, just remember, folks, follow those four rules of thumb and um, you will succeed in your quest for the perfect guitar for you. Like I said, make sure it has a solid spruce top. Make sure the action is nice and low with no buzz. Make sure the neck is nice and comfortable for you. It's not too fast, not too thin. Maybe it's not thin enough, you know. Like I said, try a lot. Make sure it stays in tune. You might want to spend anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half at each place testing the guitars. It's a good test for um, how well it stays in tune, too. Because, okay, you've been sitting there for an hour and a half and the guitar still sounds great. Then, you know, you generally know that you have a guitar that stays in tune decently. Mm -hmm. But um, one more thing I want to throw in about the tops. <clears throat> I play some kick-ass laminate, la laminate top guitars. 
Um, so if you find a guitar that fits all your needs and everything, and the top is laminated but it sounds great to you, take it home. Take it home. The guitar that's right for you in the end is perfect. So, um, yeah, I'm Big Piney, and this was, I'll call this video, well, I'll surprise you guys. <laughs> this is Big Piney, and uh, as always, peace out from the Pine Lands, and uh, stay tuned to the Six String Report. We're back, and uh, better than ever, yes. So, um, stay tuned, folks. Peace.